Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and this is Chart.js tutorial series. In this series, we are going to learn how to use Chart.js to draw amazing charts and graphs. We'll start our journey by learning to create line graph, bar graph, pie chart, and donut chart using static data. Data that we will hard code in our project. Then we'll move to the advanced topic, creating graphs and charts using data from a database table. In this tutorial series, we are going to use Chart.js 2.x, which is the latest version at the time of making this video. I will share all the important links in the YouTube video description. So please check that out. I will post this tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com the link will be there in the description all right guys let's get started things we'll need a web browser to check the output you can use chrome firefox safari edge or ie text editor well you can use notepad plus plus brackets atom sublime text or any other favorite text editor that you like or you can go for an IDE like Eclipse or NetBeans. We'll need Chart.js version 2.x and we will need jQuery version 1.12 or above. In this tutorial, I will be using version 1.12. You can download jQuery from jQuery.com. I will give all the important links in the description. So don't you worry. Now the things that I will use in this tutorial. Well, I'll be using Chrome to show you the output and I'll be using Sublime Text to write the code. All right, guys, time for us to download the Chart.js. Now you can click here and go to github.com chart.js chart.js releases i'll give the link in the description and you can see the latest release is version 2.4.0 so we need to download this version scroll down and you will find this download section and we need this chart.min.js the minified version click on it and you will get the chart.min.js file Next, we'll need jQuery. For this tutorial, I'll be using version 1.12. Click on this link and this will take you to code.jquery.com slash jQuery. Scroll down and go to jQuery Co. all 1.x versions. And you can see we have jQuery Co. 1.12.0, uncompressed and minified. Choose the minified version and you need to include this script tag in your HTML. I have already downloaded jQuery file which I'll use in this video and in this tutorial. And all the codes that we are going to write in this video and this tutorial, I'll post them on my GitHub repository. The link is given here and I will also mention that link in the description. Alright guys, it's time for us to create our project folder. I will go ahead and create one on my desktop. So right click, new folder and I will name it chartjs2. Now inside this folder, I will create a CSS folder. This is where we are going to save all the style sheets. Then I will create a JS folder. This is where we are going to put all our JavaScript files. So we downloaded this chart.js and jQuery.js files. So I'll put them inside the JS folder. Now 
Now I'll open this chart.js2 project folder in Sublime Text. So we have the CSS folder, which is empty at the moment, and JS folder. Now inside this chart.js2 project folder, create a new file and save it as index.html. All right, guys, let us go ahead and write the basic HTML. So we have the doc type HTML. Then we have the opening and closing HTML tag. Inside the head tag, we have the title tag. And it is set to chart.js. And we have the body tag, which is empty at the moment. Now, Inside the body tag, just before the closing body tag, we will include the JavaScript files. So first we need jQuery. So we'll write src js. jQuery.min.js. Next, we'll include chart.min.js file. So we'll write script src.js chart.min.js. And we'll save this file. Now we'll open this index.html in our browser. And to check whether there is no error, open developer tools. All right, so we don't have any error in the console. Now, in order to create a chart, we have to first create a canvas element. So let us go ahead and create one canvas. And let us give this canvas an ID chart canvas and save. All right, let us go ahead and open this in the browser. Right click, inspect. So this is our canvas element. It is empty. So let us go back to our code. Now in order to create the canvas, we have to write some JavaScript. So We'll write script tag. The first thing we need to do is get this canvas. So we'll write var cdx context. And since this canvas has an ID chart canvas, so we'll use hash chart canvas. Now to create the chart, we have to instantiate the chart class. For this, we'll write var chart equal to new chart. Now this constructor will take two arguments. First is the element where we want to draw the chart. That is the CTX in this case. So we'll write CTX. The second argument is an object which takes some key value pairs. So the first property is type. And for this example, I'll set type to line, which means 
we are going to draw a line graph. Second is data, which is an object that is used to create the chart. Third is the options. Again, an object which is used to set some configuration for the options like the chart title, the placement of the chart title, etc. Hit save. In the next video, we are going to learn how to draw line chart. So first I want to show you the output of this code. So save this file and open Chrome and hit reload. And you can see we have an empty chart. So you can see we have this zero then we have 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and up to 1.0. Similarly, we have minus 0 0.2 till minus 1.0. This is a default. In the next video, we are going to learn how to draw a line graph using static data. And we are also going to learn how to set title for the chart and draw the legend all right guys this brings us to the end of this tutorial video in the next video we are going to learn how to create a line graph and in the next video we will see how to use this data property and this options and the notes of this tutorial is there on my website dyclassroom.com i'll give the link in the description and all the code that we are going to write in this tutorial series i will put them all in my github repository the link will be there in the description so do check that out and if you find this video interesting and helpful then please give this video a like and please subscribe my channel because i make new videos every week all right guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video and like always stay happy and keep smiling bye